Time repeats in Justice League issue 20. Following up a Justice League time travel story with yet another Justice League time travel story, Brian Hitch's Justice League issue 20 sees the Flash facing off against a mad scientist and his time device, which he uses to make Flash relive a Groundhog Day-esque series of events. This happens until the Flash is able to change enough small details and get the rest of the League's help to stop the vengeful scientist. Justice League issue 20 was a huge disappointment. I know a lot of people haven't liked the book all that much, but I've been liking it for what it is, but this issue was seriously terrible. I don't know if it's because Hitch has to do both writing and art in this, that he might be a bit too pushed out, and there's definitely evidence of that. Just look at his previous book, JLA, that went way, way, way beyond schedule and completely threw off a whole bunch of different other events but I don't know like why he has a fascination with time travel stories I don't know why he keeps doing them since that story in JLA was about a time travel story the last couple of issues have been about a time travel story and now this one it just seems really lazy like that's the one thing he keeps coming back to I have no idea why then there's also the art which suffers in a few places such as Superman having his reborn costume in some scenes then his rebirth costume in some and then there's Flash who has a red symbol and then a white one and none of it is consistent and I make the argument that if it was a different artist but it's the same artist between artist and writer it's the exact same person so there shouldn't be any problems with any of this as well and this is something that shouldn't happen as well yeah, I don't understand why it's happening I'm going to give this issue a 5 out of 10 well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you'll check out my other reviews of comics out this week. You can also catch myself and Joel from Cape Joel in our weekly podcasts, Cape TV and the Comic Multiverse over on his channel, the Weekly Pool Archive channel, and on SoundCloud. Links to them can be found in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and if you're feeling a touch generous, I have a cyber tip jar set up. Just follow the links below, and until next time, I am Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, and I will see you in another video. Here.